welcome to ESI Africa Insights. In this episode, I'm joined by Tabang Odette, who is the Chief Director and of Energy Policy and Planning for the Department of Electricity and Energy. Welcome, sir. Tabang, thank you for actually joining us. It's a pleasure. So, with the guest, Mr. Plan, you know, uh, uh, nearing approval for the cabinet, what immediate priorities for implement gas to power projects um, are you looking at and how will they impact the country's energy needs? Yeah, so the, the focus um, of the team uh, on the gas to power program is firstly to revise the RFP that was issued um, almost a year ago. Um, there's been a number of um, concerns raised by the market, which the department has taken on board um, the team has been uh, working to revise the document. So the first step is to issue a revised document. Um, and shortly afterwards, we will have a, a conference with uh, the potential market for the gas to power program. Because the idea here is we want to make sure that the document is bankable and it attracts uh, sufficient international markets, uh, more importantly, funding behind it. The reason why we're putting so much effort on the gas to power program, it is an important instrument uh, to enable implementation of the gas master plan. The gas to power uh, provides sufficient gas demand um, so that the minister is then able to implement, especially the infrastructure component that the gas master plan uh, makes reference to. Yeah, so the work is currently underway. Um, I won't commit to any timelines at this stage. Uh, safe to say that the team is working tirelessly to make sure that the document that is issued to the market is something that um, will attract sufficient uh, interest, especially from the experienced uh, international players. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. So maybe just share the strategies that the department is implementing to align infrastructure planning with evolving energy demand, you know, technological, technical yeah. tech changes, and the need for original grade yeah. strengthening. Yeah. So for technologies, there, there are a number of life cycles. Um, of course, there are technologies that are still at research uh, stage. There are those at pilot stage, and there are technologies at commercial uh, uh, stage. Most of the policies that we developed are targeted to technologies that are at commercial stage. Uh, for example, the electricity master plan, the gas master plan we made reference to. So these are targeting, these two documents are targeting technologies that are at commercial stage. We do have uh, state entities um, that is focused on research. So technologies that are still being developed, technologies of the future that are still at research phase. Uh, we deal with them separately because those needs to be supported, to be developed so that as a country, also part of the global um, uh, team that produces uh, technologies and IP related to it. Uh, so most of our policies targeted at commercial uh, uh, technologies. However, we do have research uh, legs as well, um, different entities that reports to the ministry that is doing research. Yeah. Thank you. So what improvements are being made to streamline infrastructure development and align it with the IRP targets? Yeah. So, yeah, interesting question. We've had a number of delays in implementing the current version of IRP. I mean, I can give you two examples. One was pre-COVID when certain projects could not raise sufficient funding uh, to be able to move from proposal to financial close. So that's one area of delays. The second is access to grids, to the network. Um, so we have, we believe we have addressed both uh, these issues because if there are delays on implementing IRP, it means we are not building sufficient generation capacity to meet the increasing electricity demand, which then impacts the economic growth negatively. So it is very important that as government, even when we issue the revised version of the IRP, uh, which will have a lot of, of new gas to power program, by the way, um, that we, we, we don't have hindrances to further delay implementation of this new IRP. Um, so that's the work that we are doing. So there's policy work, 
there's project related work to make sure that all these uh, bottlenecks um, and, and, and red tapes, we deal with them ahead of implementing the, the IRP. So we are now at NetLex stage with IRP, may I must also indicate uh, the new IRP is at NetLex. We hoping to get to cabinet before end of June um, and to present the revised IRP to cabinet. Once cabinet approves that, then it becomes the new IRP for South Africa. We, we, we've been working on this for almost two and a half years now. Uh, and NetLeg is basically the last uh, leg of consultations before we go back to cabinet with a policy document that you're asking them to approve. The new IRP uh, makes uh, proposals on gas to power, quite a lot of gas to power. We continue with renewables, uh, solar, wind, and battery storage. We have incorporated nuclear as well. Uh, so, and that document is in the public domain. Safe to say when we present to cabinet, uh, cabinet has the, the powers uh, to make certain changes on the IRP. We call them policy adjustment changes. Um, and those changes are basically informed by the aspiration to grow our economy. Um, so cabinet will guide us that er certain areas needs to be re-looked at um, and, and we call that a policy adjustment phase. So what the public has seen now in terms of the IRP that the department published, uh, the cabinet still has uh, the opportunity to revise and update uh, certain uh, technologies in the IRP. Uh, so that's where we are. Um, yeah, so, so the rest of it for me is to make sure that once it's approved, we are very uh, quickly able to implement it. And we do so by removing all these blockages that I referred to. Yeah. Thanks a lot for, for your questions. Thank you so much, Mr. Ajit, for joining Thank us you. today. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Tune in for the next video. Have a powerful day.